Hello everyone, this is Trekkie1701C, and uh, we're going to go ahead and continue our playthrough of Silent Threat Reborn, which is uh, an add-on campaign by the same people that uh, ported FS port over. We've just Asteroid received belt. an urgent request for assistance from Basutan Intelligence. Shivans have attacked a Basutan science convoy conducting classified research in the Deneb Asteroid Belt. I wonder what they're investigating over in Deneb, considering that's a Although wasteland the right now. repelled the first wave of fighters. They expect the Shivans to return at any time. Alpha and Beta, we're deploying your wings to reinforce their position. The convoy is awaiting a rendezvous with the PVD Pinnacle, but the destroyer will not arrive in Deneb for several hours. However, the Pinnacle is sending advanced wings to secure the area prior to the rendezvous. Your mission is to defend the convoy until they arrive. Terran Command has placed a high priority on the successful completion of this mission. The research carried by that convoy could prove invaluable to our two species in the future. Don't let them down, pilots. Well, I guess we get to defend the classified cargo. And I'm going to keep the Valkyrie because it is a good interceptor. See Prometheus and Banshee with interceptor missiles. So, uh, let's go ahead and get in here and... It is good to see you, pilot. So much for fighting off the first wave. What's your status? Shit. Fine. Fire. fire and... Oops, I need to switch to dual fire. And like I said, this is all custom voice acting that was done by the people that made this campaign, and uh, it is rather good, especially even compared to the original voice acting in Free Space 1. And uh, out of every custom campaign I have tried, every custom mod for every game I have found, uh, this has to be the best voice acting I've heard. What they're carrying. Classified. So, what kind of research are you doing here, Chinzen? That is classified information. Beta oh, come on! You can tell us something. Oh, come on! Just a yeah. little hint. Like, what's in those cargo containers? The weapons, new subspace drives, Shiva technology. Give it a rest, Beta. You know this place never tell anyone anything. Yeah, they don't want to let us know about their new Omega Mega Cannon. It's got names so awesome that the name echoes. We look forward to sharing our findings with you when our scientists on the Pinnacle complete their research. Wait, why would the scientists be on the Pinnacle? Why wouldn't they be here? I think that's Danette down there, which, uh, as you know, got basically wasted by the Sheevans uh, during the initial engagements with them. Uh, the same system where we lost the Galate, the same system where the Legion was lost. And Sheevans are still trying to shoot missiles at me. Didn't even need to shoot him with missiles because he went down anyways. Get close so I can actually damage this guy. Always hope that the wingman ram him too. Let's see, try to evade this missile here. There we go. Let's see if I can't get a lock. There we go. I might fire too close, but it doesn't matter anyways. So, let's see. I think that's the support ship jumping in way the hell out there, and... Okay, got bombers. So, need to get these, rid of these guys, because they will do a ton of damage like that. Shit. 
That's a lot of missiles. And unfortunately, those actually are missiles, so we can't shoot them down. Yeah, I think that was one of the transports exploding. So, so much for everybody getting through this. So it doesn't look like anybody really cares because I didn't hear anything about that. Okay, got a scorpion here. Fire the last missile and then rearm. Of course, that could have also been an asteroid that exploded. So hey, maybe everybody will survive this one. Rearming complete, sir. Despite all those missiles, they are pretty clear. And got a weird contact up out here. Just showing asteroid debris, but something out there. It's probably classified. How many Sheevans are there? It's classified. So, I guess uh, we'll just hold back here because Alpha 3 is in charge, apparently. Oh, I know what this is. That's Faustus there. It's Einstein. What, are you saying you don't like us? Okay, more fighters jumping in. So let's go ahead and engage these guys and take them out before they kill Einstein. And I'm sure the fact that, you know, Einstein, uh was basically the guy that convinced the United States to build the atomic bomb it has nothing to do with any sort of weapons project or anything like that. I'm sure it's just a name. And there goes another fighter. Still no bombers attacking the Einstein. But then again, you don't really need bombers to take out a Faustus. There we go, that fighter's gone. Probably call support over because they are way out of here and I've only got seven missiles left. escape pods today. Especially when my wingman can't fly. Shit, that is a lot of missiles. So the Einstein's... Oh, shit. I uh, need to equalize my shields here. So I guess we're just defending this whole area of space. Okay, so we're supposed to get out of here, I guess. Or we are getting out of here. So, uh, two-parter, I guess.
We've tracked the Einstein's escape pods to a remote location within the Deneb system. As you know, Hermes-class escape pods are equipped with stripped-down subspace drives that can only be used once, after which they must be replaced. This necessitates the deployment of a retrieval ship that can accommodate the pods in its hangar bay. The ferocity of the Shivan attack left the escape pods with little time to properly calculate jump coordinates, forcing them to jump to the first available destination. Although they're in no immediate danger, it'll be some time before Allied forces can be deployed to assist. Your wings have been assigned to safeguard the pods until they can be retrieved. Okay. The strength of the Shivan forces in this sector is unknown. We do not believe they will concern themselves with the escape pods, but the arrival of two fighter wings will probably draw their attention. Destroy any Shivan vessel that interferes with your mission objective. So, wait, wait, wait. They don't think the Shivans will bother with the escape pods, but we're going in to protect the escape pods, which means the Shivans will probably come in and bother with them. That is a great okay. plan, Command. I'm reading the escape pods at 2,500 meters. Moving to escort formation. Alright. Alpha wing, protect that pod. And Beta Wing, protect that pod. Looks like the sheep is going follow them here. That's a good sign. Einstein Escape Pod is Beta 1 of the 91st Band of the GTD Creos. We have orders to protect your craft. Please acknowledge. Acknowledge Beta and standing by. We appreciate your help. That's good to hear. At least somebody appreciates us. So I guess we just sit here for a minute until uh, the Sheevans ask why the hell there's three fighters. Not too long. That is all that convoy will be on right while we're away. Forty crew for a dozen fighters with cargo. It's not my idea for fair trade. They can hear you. That convoy seemed pretty well protected. Take a really large or a really coordinated attack to punch through that turret screen. Besides, command sent reinforcements were on the way. Yeah, and we can trust command. So I'm sure that convoy is going to be fine. You know, they're probably not going to get sanitized because of that hidden ship or anything like that. See, what's the waypoint time on this? Five minutes. So I guess there's not too much going on. Let's see what was the command uh, time to accelerate? Nope, oh, that's it on it. Oh, there we go. Didn't need a time accelerate. They came anyways. I'm gonna try and conserve my missiles because there's no way to resupply right now. In fact, let's actually switch to single fire. Off to die. That's the glamorous life of Terran intelligence, kids. Sit around protecting escape pods and shooting at a small handful of alien fighters. Apparently, we're not doing too well because the uh, pods got pretty shot up. Fighters. And I crashed into one. Let's just go ahead and see if we can take this guy. There we go. Another one by 
besides the dust. I'm not wondering if the Sheepens are actually going to send anything major in. Doesn't look like they got through it all to the pods this time though, so that's good. Let's see what was that key again? Right there. Oops. Alright, let's go ahead and attack these spiders who just jumped in. Not a whole lot of chatter going on this mission. Alright. That did not take long to take out that wing, even though it was uh, about double the strength of the previous ones. Which is good. Pod number two is pretty badly damaged, though. Let's go ahead and accelerate time again until some fighters show up. Like that. Uh, shoot, I'm being targeted. And shot that missile a little bit too close to really do anything. Oh good, a ship's here. Well that's great. They're going to try and blow up a destroyer with nothing. Because fighters won't really do much against a destroyer. Let's see. Shit, I'm getting collided with a lot. There we go. Let's take out this guy as well and try to whittle these guys down because there's uh, nine of them right now versus six of us and a destroyer. Pretty one-sided, but I think we'll win despite the odds. Alright, so Shemans are finally sending in bombers. Let's go ahead and take these guys out. What operation? Acknowledged pilot. Cutlet's Alpha and Beta for now. Once the Einstein survivors are on board, secure the area. What's with the inflection on secure? Understood. Cares, they're shooting at the Sheevan. Those are the Loki class uh, fighters. So we'll find out about that here soon. It's a hell of a lot of them. Something's jumping in there, not uh, just more basilisks. It looks like the sheep are finally putting up a little bit of an attack. But I think we'll still easily get through this. Assuming, of course, the Repulse's new fighters don't ram me. More bombers. 
Hey, and the Krios is here. Eh, who cares about the escape pods? Got two destroyers here, so I don't think that'll be an issue. In fact, they seem more interested in shooting at me. Oh, there we go. More uh, achievements here. Actually, got bombers coming in. Let's take him out. Yeah, that's not a problem. We'll just let them blow up the repulse anyways. Alright. Really not too much to uh, talk about here, because I do know a bit of what's going on, but I really don't want to give anything away. I did remember there being a little bit more chatter than there was uh, here, but I guess special operatives don't really talk much. So it'd be nice if they'd throw uh, support shit my way, so I could uh, maybe get more missiles. I suppose guns will have to work just as well. I think I'll last few of these bombers here. There we go. And looks like that was the last wave. Now we get some dialogue. I might ask you the same question, Admiral Scott. We were ordered to proceed directly to these coordinates to retrieve a set of escape pods. While your assistance is appreciated, sir, that does not give you the right to interfere with our mission. Both of the escape... We are not here to provide assistance, Admiral. Nor are we interfering. We are here to retrieve the pods. Command has ordered us to ensure their safe and immediate transportation to Beta Aquilae. Your involvement is no longer required. Well, that's great. We've received no notification of these orders. A little bit of communications the breakdown. I take orders from GTA High Command only. I will not transfer this pod to the Repulse or anywhere else without their express authorization. I shut him up for, at least right now. Very well. See that you contact them and give you the resolve this matter. In the meantime, we have to do this elsewhere. GTD Repulse out. Oh, there they go. Seems like a bitch. Pilots, this mission is finished. Jump back to base. Alright, well, let's go ahead and get out of here as well. Just leave all the sheep and debris behind. Good work, pilots. You successfully ensured the recovery of both escape pods, despite the confusion and unexpected outcome. 
The personnel on board the pod we retrieved are currently being debriefed and treated for the injuries they sustained during the battle. Command has yet to respond to our inquiries regarding the Repulse's presence in the Creos' theater of operations, so for the time being, Admiral Scott is treating this incident as a security breach. You will be updated as we receive further information. So, Command's not talking to us about the whole thing. blemish on the GTI's record today. Not only was our recovery operation compromised, but Command grossly underestimated the threat to our joint operation in the asteroid belt. Be glad that you were not there, pilots. The Sheevans launched a savage attack that wiped out not only your reinforcements, but the entire assumed convoy as well. When the well, you don't fighters say. arrived, they found only a few damaged cargo containers. That's a huge shame debris. that those people that saw our little incident start uh, somehow got killed horribly. That were destroyed. Admiral Scott has issued a formal apology to Vasudan Intelligence for our failure to protect the convoy. Although the Vasudans are justifiably upset over this incident, they have fortunately chosen not to hold it against us. They have responded that the Shivan threat is too great to risk jeopardizing the Alliance over such matters. Once the Shivans have been neutralized, our species will be able to more effectively focus our attentions on research and recovery. So, uh... A little interesting start there. Um... Obviously, there's going to be a little bit more to come with what happened with the repulse there. So, uh, until then, this is Trekkie1701C. Please remember to subscribe, rate, and comment.